Benjamin here at McMillan Giants. And uh, today I'll just give you a real short video. I'll show you how I actually lift the pumpkin to get it out of the patch. And then a uh, quick look at my daughter's two pumpkins and my field pumpkin, show you the end of the year pumpkins. Also real quick, I'd like to thank Stephen Hall from Hermitite Homestead for hooking me up with this really cool shirt. And Gus the Squash Carver, thank you for the awesome hat. To hoist this up, I have 15 foot inch and a quarter pipes. Up top, a traditional engine hoist, and then of course your strap harness. And then I do have a crane scale in between there. I'll speed this up a little bit so you don't get bored. Boy, I wish I was still young enough to move that fast. Basically, after you hoist it up in the air, you're gonna take a look at the bottom. I think it was a slug or something on the bottom. I picked it off and you slide a skid underneath it. Then throw, I used one inch or two inch foam under the pumpkin. Just gives it a little bit of cushion versus just bouncing around on the wood. Then you get everything all squared up, get it nice and centered on the pallet, lower it down on that pallet. And from there you can move it with forks, load it onto a truck like we did here. Away she goes. She's going to be carved at the Jack Pine Festival by Gus the Squash Carver. Great guy. If you ever get a chance to meet him, he does some amazing work. Here's just a quick look. That's her big pumpkin right there. And in front of there is the smaller pumpkin. Uh, both of those pumpkins totaled about 1,900 pounds on the vine. Could not believe it in just a 400 square foot plant that wasn't well taken care of. Uh, there's a picture of myself and Gus. And then down here is going to be a picture at Jack Pines Festival. And now the work begins. And here's a look at the field pumpkin. It did manage to get to 118 pounds. Now here's my daughter's second pumpkin. This pumpkin and the larger pumpkin coming up here, both were grown on the same plant and the plant was only about 400 square feet. Man, I couldn't be prouder of her. If any of you guys are interested in any seeds from either one of her pumpkins or anything I've grown in the past, I'll leave a link in the description of how you can get them. Again, God bless you and your families, and hopefully you get out there and grow yourself some giants.